Wisconsin versus Nebraska. This game is going to be pretty clear cut and dry as to what's going to go on with it. The last four times that Nebraska has lined up and played a football game, Michigan ran the ball 49 times, Minnesota ran the ball over 45, Illinois ran the ball like 48, Purdue ran the ball I think 48, and they're not even concerned with their average yard per carry. They're just concerned with getting the first down and scoring points and just not letting Nebraska have the football. And that's exactly what they've done. Nebraska is giving up 191 yards on the ground this season. And they're, I mean, they're barely passing for that amount. They're passing for 226 yards on offense. Now, Casey Thompson did get hurt. He's not playing. But that doesn't take away from the fact that when somebody is lining up against you and running the ball down your throat 45 times a game for four weeks in a row, what kind of heart does Nebraska have left? Like, dude, that's got to get old. It has to. But you know what? You're going to line up on Saturday, and Braylon Allen is just going to run it straight down your throat. Kate, I'm sorry. It's going to be brutal. Wisconsin is a 13-point favorite. I don't know that Nebraska can score 13 to keep it close. Wisconsin has a really good defense, only averaging 20 or giving up 20 yards per game. They are allowing 307 yards per offense, but that's 200 pass, 100 rush. That's really not that bad. I'll need to, I didn't look up what Wisconsin is ranked in total defense in terms of yards, but that's got to be pretty, pretty good. Um, Wisconsin's five and five. You know, they, they fired their head coach earlier this season. Wisconsin's offensive struggles, I think, are what kind of hold them back. Um, you score 10 against Iowa and lose that one. Iowa sucks. Iowa is not good. Um, you lose to Michigan State in double overtime. Let's see. I know you've won three out of your last five. Uh, so you lose to Washington State. You score 14. You lose to Ohio State, Gibbon. You lose to Illinois at the uh, – Week five or six in the season where Illinois was still kind of rolling, you only scored 10. Um, so your losses have been 14, 21, 10, 28, 10. That's really not going to get it done. But, I mean, your defense in those games aren't necessarily giving up a lot of points. But like I said, if you're not scoring, then it doesn't matter if your defense gives up two points. If you can't score, you're going to lose the game. Uh, Nebraska, 3, 13, 9, and 37, and 13, your last five games. So, Remove that Purdue game. You've scored three, thirteen, nine, thirteen. That's what? Not even forty points in three game in four games. You're less than ten points per game. That's the reason I like Wisconsin minus thirteen in this because Wisconsin's not going to let Nebraska touch the ball. All it takes is two touchdowns and Wisconsin can cover. Um, so I'm gonna go with Wisconsin to win. I think add Wisconsin to a money line parlay or something like minus five fifty is not bad odds. You can still add two more and get plus on that. Let me check out my Oklahoma video that I did. Um, but let me know in the comment section how you guys see this game going. I think the preview video is pretty, pretty clear cut and dry here. Like, there's not a lot to talk about. Wisconsin's going to run it 45 times. Nebraska may or may not be able to score any points. I don't know what their team total is. If it's anywhere close to 20, I'm probably going to take the under. Um, Wisconsin, if it's in the mid teens, I'll probably take the over on that one just because I don't think West Nebraska's going to be able to stop Wisconsin from scoring three rushing touchdowns. So look out for Braylon Allen player props as well. And again, let me know in the comment section how you guys see this game going. Uh, and be sure to hit that subscribe button. We got lots of more content coming out this week and throughout the rest of the season. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week.